a, a, a 25,000 times rise for radioactive nickel is, is good. Uh, radioactive 63. I mean, what's, I mean, sir, please. <laughs> I appreciate your call, okay? You know what, folks? Everything's fine, okay? The bankers are going to fix things with this world government. The radiation is good for you. I'm glad the feds aren't releasing numbers. They should arrest all these university and city officials that are releasing the numbers. How dare them report that this higher radiation is here? They should have waited for the EPA to come out and raise safe levels. There are a lot of sickos out there. Like that last caller, Mike. Un-American. He probably thinks it's bad that the Supreme Court rules that prosecutors can frame people. He probably thinks parents should be able to pack their school, their child's lunch and have that decision in their life. He probably thinks it's wrong that Wells Fargo and Wachovia admittedly laundered $376 billion in drug money. He probably thinks sevenfold uh, increase in cancer in bones from uh, fluoride in the water is bad. I mean, you're a sicko. <sighs> Richard in Illinois, you're on the air. I hope you're not as crazy as Mike. No, but I am uh, representing 1,500 architects and engineers who are calling for a new investigation of World Trade Center 7 and Buildings 1 and 2. I didn't, well. know, I didn't know that Richard Gage called in. Another, another uh, person who said six years ago that 7 fell at free fall and they denied it and now admit it. So what if the building fell at three falls? So what if there was a 10-second countdown and explosion blast points and police saying, get back, we're going to blow it up on CNN? It didn't happen. Building 7 doesn't exist. And we, we, we fortunately have been able to wake up uh, uh, well over a couple of thousand architects and engineers throughout the country. And we're on a Midwest tour. And uh, my event coordinators wanted me to give you a quick update, Alex. We're going to be in Munster, Indiana uh, tonight at 7 p.m. at the Center for Visual Performing Arts. And then tomorrow night in Peoria at the Lakeview Museum. Why should people want to hear from 1,500 architects and engineers, some of them at the top of their field, proving there were explosives in the buildings? Uh, I mean, you know what? Uh, uh, Richard, radiation at 25,000 times safe levels is good for you. Yeah, well, I, I doubt that. <laughs> but, um, but the government said so. Well, people are waking up to uh, what we're being told, that it's just not true. Uh, people in Minneapolis, uh, for instance... Did you just call the government liars because the White House regulations are says that should be an arrestable offense? Are you trying to discredit well, this they're... government and the wartime... Uh, 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 yeah. All right, I'm going to stop being sarcastic. Uh, uh, Richard Gage, tell us a little bit about architects and engineers. I'm flattered you got through here. So you're out there traveling, trying to talk about the laws of physics. Laws of physics don't apply now because uh, Karl Rove said so. Yeah, they, we can't stop Newton. Uh, it, it's, it's immutable. He was uh, with Al-Qaeda. Uh, with <laughs> with 47,000 with 40,000 tons of structural steel in it, a building like Building 7 can't fall at free-fall acceleration straight down, uniformly, symmetrically, um, into its own footprint. A, a building wasn't even hit by an airplane. Next you're going to say up is down and down is up, Richard. Well, that's the problem. And people yeah, are you're, yeah, you're wrong. Up. up is up and down is not down and sideways is not sideways and black is not white, but white is black and black is white. Two plus two doesn't equal four. Are you with Al Qaeda? I'm going to ask you right now. Are <laughs> no, and neither are the 1,500 architects and engineers that I represent. And but Al Qaeda you, is go. good when they're helping overthrow Gaddafi. Oh yeah, well that's different. <laughs> the the um, we we've given this presentation a, over 185 times now, Alex, throughout the country. We're on a 10 city Midwest tour. We're five. Uh, down and five to go. We'll be in Minneapolis on Thursday, uh, 414 at the Continuing Education and Conference Center. And uh, I'm telling you uh, beforehand, of those who come who are skeptical of our position, uh, supporting Newton's third law, et cetera, equal and opposite reactions, um, most all of them, I mean, in, in, almost a shutout in the last uh, four out of five everybody agrees with the evidence for controlled demolition. well that's because you're that's because you're, uh, you're you're evil and i don't need to look at the the laws of 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 newtonian physics uh, i can just call you a kook and laugh at you so i don't need to look at facts okay i'm superior i can just laugh at you 9-11 was not an inside job 
guys with box cutters did take over the planes. Nobody fought back. Uh, it doesn't matter if they said they blew up Building 7 and later changed the story. It doesn't matter how many engineers or architects or physicists you've got. Richard Gage, you are you are a kook, and, and, and so is that guy Alex Jones, and, and, and all and Newton. Newton is a kook. Ha ha, Newton, Newton, the Putin. Ha ha, I laughed at him. Doesn't matter. Ha ha, ha, ha. I love the government. I love radiation. It's good for me. Ha ha ha. Freedom, the blistering anti-globalist anthem from the rock band Ravelin. Back in Rome's have their tools. Just one of 11 great songs from the album Under the Sun. Available on iTunes and at Ravelin.com. R-A-V-E-L-Y-N. Ravelin.com. Spring and a new growing season are here. Plant a healthy garden easy and fast with OrganicaSeed.com. Easy because OrganicaSeed.com offers one of the largest online selections of organic, heirloom, non-hybrid, and untreated seeds, as well as tobacco and cotton seeds at low prices. Go to OrganicaSeed.com, spelled O-R-G-A-N-I-C-A-Seed.com. OrganicaSeed.com. Remember, Organica Seed is healthy seed. Dr. David Berry has provided excellent advice for all those interested in practical economics and sound money. It's certainly worth reading. That's what Congressman Ron Paul said about Cha-Ching Wisdom, 123 Practical Universal Truths About Money, the new book by Dr. David Berry. The cool part of this book, certainly it'll speak to you personally, your life, your lifestyle, your, your money, your investments, but it also can be generalized into the nation. What's going on as a nation? We do these same things as, personally that we do as a nation. Dr. Berry's book, Cha-Ching Wisdom, presents many facets of your relationship with the once almighty dollar and how current national and international politics affect your daily life. Some of the other things are, are about that. They're not just uh, economic, they're philosophical. There's psychology involved in this book. There's philosophy involved in this book. Read Cha-Ching Wisdom by Dr. David Barry, only $9.95, available at chachingwisdom.com. That's C-H-A-C-H-I-N-G wisdom.com. Chachingwisdom.com. Hi, this is Alex Jones. The real U.S. unemployment rate is now 22% and not 9% like what we are told by the mainstream media. The primary instinct of unemployed Americans is to go to college and seek a higher education. But all across America, students are graduating with hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt and no jobs. Most college graduates are now admitting that they would have been better off getting a job at Walmart or McDonald's than having their lives destroyed by student loans. Our friends at the National Inflation Association are getting ready to release College Conspiracy, the world's most comprehensive documentary ever produced about America's college education system. To be among the first to see College Conspiracy, sign up for the free NIA newsletter today at www.inflation.us. NIA believes that college education is the largest scam in American history. College Conspiracy will expose the facts and truth about the education system here in the U.S. Sign up for free today at inflation.us to be among the first to see College Conspiracy. Going solar for cheap is as easy as one, two, three. If you want to go solar but thought the setup costs were too high, now you can build your own solar panels for less than $200. Don't laugh. We've sold over 45,000 solar do-it-yourself kits. Watch our introduction video at 123cheapsolarvideo.com. The video is free, but it won't last long. Save money on electric bills and get off the grid. Go to 123cheapsolarvideo.com right now. Our website again is 123cheapsolarvideo.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. I was illustrating absurdity by being absurd with the last few callers. John of Minnesota didn't tell me it was Richard Gage. I guess Richard didn't point that out. I recognize his voice. That is Richard Gage, a great guy. Check out Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth. Just search that term. You'll find the website and find out where they're having events across the country. Certainly should go to that. I want to take a few more calls. 
then I got a guest coming on, then I will get into the latest radiation news. But think about them taking all these different radioactive isotopes now building up in the U.S., in the produce, in the milk, in 17 states. The feds aren't even testing. Uh, it's local states and, and universities that are finding this. And the Fed's response is, well, we'll just raise it 100,000-fold in one isotope, 3,000-fold in another, 24,900-something-fold in another, 1,000-fold in another. That's the just insanity of it. Oh, uh, no, that building's not falling at free fall. NIST said that for eight years. Then finally, a year and a half ago, they had to admit, okay, it does fall at free fall. We don't know how that happens. Well, here's the blast points on Building 7. Here's the police saying, get back, they're going to blow it up. Well, we still say we didn't blow it up. But the owner says you blew it up. Well, he didn't mean that. Uh, mm. We say radiation's not bad for you. We say that building fell on its own. We say the Easter Bunny's real. By the way, uh, Jesse Ventura is going to be on Coast to Coast AM tonight for the first hour. And then yours truly is on for the next two, maybe three. I don't know. Sometimes they go into overdrive. Uh, but the point is, I will be uh, on um, Coast to Coast AM tonight for two hours. So definitely want to uh, join us for that. We're going to cover a lot of uh, government corruption and things that they don't want you to know about. A la his book, 63 documents the government doesn't want you to read. He could have gone to thousands of documents they don't want you to read. But hence, 63, the real coup d'etat with the killing of JFK. So we're going to be breaking down a lot of key information tonight on Coast to Coast AM, coast to coast AM dot com. Okay, um, uh, in other news, gas prices climbing towards $5 per gallon. Oh, what did Lindsey Williams say in October six months ago? He said within six months to a year, 150 a barrel. Oh, now the news is saying that. IMF cuts U.S. growth forecast on oil, lackluster jobs pace. Bloomberg, but the government said we're in a boom economy and radiation's good. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, Steve. Steve in Florida, you're on the air, sir. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, good afternoon, Alex. Uh, I wanted to relate to a recent conversation I had with a neighbor of mine who was in Iraq, Afghanistan, New World Order expansion of their empire uh, veteran. Uh, but before I get to that, I just wanted to say real quick, you know, I've told people, if you want to know who owns things, Try driving that vehicle that you have without those stickers they require on your windshield or your uh, license. You'll find out real quick. Try not paying your property taxes, and you try to squat on your own property. SWAT team's coming, and you know what? They think it's manly to gun you down, so get ready to die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, speaking of that, I was talking to this guy, and uh, he uh, I was talking to him about the Middle East situation that's going on, specifically Libya. And he mentioned when he was in Iraq and Afghanistan that a lot of times they would have to kill these kids because they, you know, were wired with, you know, bombs, et cetera. And I was saying this on the heels of telling him what you had pointed out about Rush Limbaugh's comments about war and how off he is on that. And, you know, the thing is, I said, well, what would we do, you know, if we were invaded like that? You know, wouldn't kids be doing the same thing with their, at their you know, parents' training and behest? Sure they would. We're defending ourselves. I said, that's all we're, they're doing over there, and this light, like, clicked on. And then I went into talking to him about uh, things that I've learned through you, and I gave him a copy of Terror Storm, and he's been watching. And they said it's really scary, which means he's getting awakened for the first time to how he's been used. But he made a comment to me. He said, you know... My superiors told us about these so-called videos they found in the caves in Afghanistan when we were there of Osama bin Laden just in pristine condition. But he said, the thing is, I came to realize from that that Osama bin Laden's one of us because those caves, we destroyed them. So it was impossible for them to find these videos that they put out there and the news media is saying is Osama bin Laden. So, you know, you know thank God that's somebody who's... Well, listen, yeah, listen, yeah. it's confirmed that Anwar al-Awlaki, now the operational commander of al-Qaeda, gets his orders from the Pentagon and hangs out there secretly. It's on record that they protect him. Do they have low-level soldiers that don't know who they're fighting for, just like our soldiers think they're fighting for America and not the globalists? It's the same story. But how many troops have called in? How many news items have admitted that they tell the troops you're in an Al-Qaeda area? U.S. troops have never been here. And they see U.S. MREs, uh, gun casings, uh, graffiti. They then later talk to units when they get back that were there a year before. It's all lies. It's all fake. When U.S. troops actually captured 8,000 Taliban Al-Qaeda, quote, cream, Times of London, uh, Newsweek magazine, they were ordered to release them and pay them in gold.